Hey guys, welcome to our channel Live Track Worlds. I'm Shishu. In this video, we'll talk about types of text in HTML and we'll do some examples on that. So let's start. I'm starting with the sublime text editor here, which I have installed. Okay, I'll clear this out and go for the new document here. Yes, and tools, command palette, HTML, set HTML syntax. I can go to tools, command palette, secret of the HTML, here types of list, and here the first list in our topic is ordered list, which stands for OL, and the old tag represents ordered list. So, in this, we'll write our own list. So, li tag, li represents list item here. This we have in between this we will write our list listed items. So we'll start with books. And sales. So this one is ordered list. I will save this as T and list. Okay. Now let's see here. T list. So this one is an ordered list ordered by numbers. So for the unordered list, I copy this whole and just I will change this single thing. Is ordered list or this one is ordered list for unordered list the tag is UN UN and this will represent these listed items in bullets control S and here save and refresh. We will see these items is representing the help of bullets. So in ordered list we can also set this numbering according to our needs. So for that we'll copy this save and I will make some small changes here. You will see that. So in that I will use an attribute. So what is an attribute? So attribute is a property which gives additional additional information to our element. So what is the element? Element is just this tags of type HTML and this whole. So let's start with the new attribute here. First attribute of our topic type. Type is equal to in quotes. Remember, you have to use this quotes. If you will not use this quotes, you will not get your desired innovation. Type by and so first we start with the type by. This ordered items will now represent in Roman numbers. S sorry here control S for save and here refresh. So these items now are in Roman numbers. We can also set these Roman numbers according to our needs. So for that I will write here in copy this save. I just add an another attribute which is start. I will start from 50. You will see this listed ordered items will represent in Roman numbers which starting from 50, which is L stands for 50. 50, 51, 52. Now we will Go to the last definition list, last list of the topic, which is data definition list. So for that, we will use the L tag for the data list. This one is just like subheading and description. So I am adding a little description. 
Now we will use your DT tag data transfer. And that will write box box test call. We will not copy. Now we will write data definition list here. Now box are used by students. Now another data transfer. And copy the same and still different. And, and again, one data transfer tag markers. Okay, so save this. You will see the difference here. So I'm just refreshing this. So books will be students when used by students, marker used by lecturers. So this one here is an ordered list. This one ordered list by your priority, and this one also. And this one is an unordered list, which is specified or numbered by bullets. And this one is a data definition list. This one is a DT tag. This one is a data definition tag DT. Same one. So if you understand my video, like my video, then comment if what I have missed and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Thank you for watching my video. Have a good day.